listen, top five scary ghost videos that'll make you cry for mama. All right, listen, I ain't no ho, so I ain't going. But we about to see how scary these really are. Let's get it. So when the metal hit his mug, he just sunk in place. 100K holla, chillin' Bahamas. Come home to your crib and throw in your mama. What is good, Holla Squad? We are the Litter Squad on the YouTube platform. This is today. We are back with another reaction. I'm sitting here chilling with the stream team view crew. How y'all doing? It's a nice little scary night for us. We're about to hop into some more. Nukes top five, all right? Now, this is one that'll make you cry for your mama. We about to see, bruh. And if I see anybody go back into a house after they exited it, y'all already know the vibes. Whatever happens next, they deserve it, okay? But let's hop into this video. We almost to 10K. When I get to 10K, I'm going rando nodding, so. Top five ghosts. I'll make that happen. Call on camera. Don't wake the baby. Italian YouTubers Paolo, Debbie, and Simona from the YouTube channel PIT, Paranormal Investigation Team, were contacted by one of their viewers about a spooky local legend in a dark forest. The legend mm. says that there's a certain tree in the woods and underneath it sits an old abandoned stroller. Then above the stroller, there's a bell attached to one of the tree's branches. Locals believe that in the stroller rests the spirit of a baby who tragically passed away under mysterious circumstances many years ago. Furthermore, it's believed that if anyone nearby makes too much noise, the spirit of the baby wakes up and the bell in the tree starts to ring. But even more ominous, it is said that when the bell rings, an evil entity comes to protect the spirit of the infant, and this entity will attack whoever disturbed the child. The PIT Paranormal Investigation Team traveled to the mysterious forest. Why'd y'all go at night, bruh? They, they, they didn't see the demon only come out at night. I'm going in the daytime. I'm going to get that stroller up out of there. Break the curse, bruh. That's what I would do. But they, they. And wait until nightfall. They're going at night, bro. They, they going search at through night. the woods and eventually find the tree and the stroller. Mm -mm. They put an EMF detector inside and just wait. No, ma neanche a me va a zero. Mamma mia. Raga, brilla. Raga, sta brillando. Sta brillando. Why do they just leave the stroller there? Sta brillando. Sta brillando. La campana. La campana. Ma non si sta muovendo più. No way. No way. Giro lì. Giro lì, quindi adesso. Bro, I know it had to have rained and that stroller has moved, bro. Ti prego dimmi che sta torrendo. Dimmi che sta torrendo. Non lo so, non lo so, non lo so. Ha suonato, ha suonato, ha suonato. Ha suonato dopo, dopo che ha brillato l'M1. Quindi adesso? E quindi che ne so adesso? Paolo! Non mi piace. No. Quindi adesso in teoria, se è giusta la leggenda... Now all I know is if they start uh, turning up with bruises like the other guy did, I'm gonna believe it. All right, the I'm bell gonna it. rings, which according to the legend means that the baby has been disturbed and that the evil entity is coming for them. Both Debbie and Simone are more than a little freaked out and already feel surrounded by something that is lurking in the woods. But Paolo wants to see more. What he if grabs Paolo, the stroller and starts to threaten the entity, yelling aloud that he will take the baby away. What happens next is downright chilling. Oh yeah, this man playing with fire now, brother. Poi non so se suggestione, raga. Io mi sento tirare la carrozzina. Che senso ti tirare la carrozzina? Come se dall'altra parte ci fosse qualcun altro che la sta me la come se me la stesse togliendo dalle mani me la sta spingendo mollala io dalla 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 termica non vedo assolutamente niente right, per some type of entity to pop mollala. up mollala io dalla termica non vedo niente di strano raga is the stroller moving Si muove, si muove, Paolo, Paolo, te l'ho detto, te l'ho detto, Paolo, 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 l'hai provocata, ha funzionato, ok, è qua, 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 ok, ok, 
Paolo explains that he feels like someone is trying to push the stroller away from him. When he lets go, the stroller eerily just moves on its own. The team no longer believes that they're alone in the woods and they hear the unexplained sound of running footsteps all around them. Oh yeah, it's time to go. It's a head back to the car. Why would you run so much? Giuro l'ho vista passare. Ho visto passare qualcosa. Raga, l'ho filmato, sono quasi sicuro. Ho stretto la torcia. Bro, I'm turning on the jets. Una persona laggiù. È passato qualcosa laggiù. Non un animale. The creepy figure of what appears to be a woman can be seen quickly running through the dark woods. Could this be the evil entity that is said to come with? Look, I did not even see that thing, bro. Ain't no way. Ain't no way, bro. Get to your car. And the bell rings. Is it possible that this female spirit could be protecting the long abandoned spirit of the child in the stroller? Cuz pulled that stroller and got loaded. Your thoughts down in the comments. PIT Paranormal Investigation. You know it would be funny if somebody sent out a fake, like, email, right? And then they went and faked the video. That would be funny. Like, oh, you should go check out this thing. And it's really a setup to see if it really, and if they're like, oh my God, it's a ghost. The team is now releasing their investigations in both English and Italian. I don't know if this is real, but if you're loud, the baby's gonna wake up. So you can watch this full three-part series in English or Italian over on their YouTube channel. The Nightly Visitor. All right, let's get it, let's get it. Chris Coltman from the Netherlands recently reached out to me through email, explaining that his family has been experiencing some very strange activity in their house. Chris says that his five-year-old son has been having terrible trouble falling asleep ever since the little boy's grandmother passed away. The five-year-old would wake up in the middle of the night, making the typical claim of any frightened child that there was, quote, something scary in his room. The boy repeated this multiple nights until finally Chris decided to buy a motion detection camera uh, here we to go. prove to the child once and for all that there was simply nothing there. But instead, the camera captures something downright creepy. Now, obviously, because of the potato quality of the camera, it's hard to tell exactly what is going on here. All that we can make out is a strange dark shape that seems to move and disappear along the side of the boy's bed. Yeah. Now, it after like the reviewing the footage and seeing this bizarre incident, Chris decides to buy a new, higher quality camera. How did and he sure see enough, that? sure enough, the camera captures hey, lighting. something. <laughs> Light, yeah, facts. My man got that Lightning McQueen race car bed. I always wanted those. Never got one. <laughs> Another unexplained dark shape seems to move right next to the boy as he sleeps. It almost looks like the translucent shape touches the boy's hand, and the child even seems to react to the touch in his sleep. Another night, Yo. and Chris is laying in bed with his son to comfort him, waiting until the boy falls asleep so that he can sneak out of the room. But then, this happens. Hold on! So, so you seen something sneak into your child's room twice. My child will be sleeping in my room. That's what I do know. Ain't no way. Time to go. Time to move, my brother. Hold up, do they think the mom dropped the book? Books sitting on top of a shelf suddenly get tipped over and fall hard onto the floor. Yeah, that's, uh, Chris and his son wake up and the that's boy's mother quickly girl. hurries into the room to see if the two are okay. Both Chris and his wife have no idea what just... How the heck did she get to that room so fast, bruh? She literally says, is everything okay? Like two seconds after. Like literally less than a second after the drop, bruh. 
So are Chris and his family haunted by an invisible entity that only his son can see? And if not, then just what is this? Let me know what you think. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. Aldo sees something. Indian YouTuber Robbie from the YouTube channel Biryani Man and his friends set out to explore an abandoned house in Madras, India. Okay. The four friends don't know much about the house other than that the building was abandoned because the property is said to be extremely haunted. haunted. Once inside, they find something very disturbing. <laughs> Bro, they run in here like some demons. They got no regards, all right? They run in it. They going to find the damn ghost. Team member Vicky is a bit upset by an old rope hanging from the ceiling inside one of the rooms. But the other guys don't really seem to think much of it. I wouldn't have but thought then, much of it. But then, YouTuber Robbie sees something shocking right behind him. Hello, open this door. In your door, Rukke. The door, open, the door open. Mana porong. Aldo, al sira. Hmm. Open aoda. Hmm. Al mana mana pare. Ah ah ah. So, I'm open entry ke time le number. Vicky ki take pon. Vicky. Vicky. Uh, are we still supposed to be Aya. looking behind them? Hey. Nice. Hey, 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 hey. Was that like? Hey, touch, 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 touch. Someone or something seems to walk from left to right, right behind the unsuspecting group. When they check out the area, there's just no one there. The nah, four friends see, decide seen to enough. take a quick break enough outside the that. house to gather their thoughts. And that's when things get... See, here we go. They are outside the house. That's where you should stay. Just go to the car. It's time to wrap it up. You got the video, the, the video evidence. There's a ghost in here. You ain't got to prove nothing else. But whatever happens now, my brother, uh, I saw you. Truly bizarre. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, hell no. Bro, you got it on camera. Watch the footage. Oh, it's real. Again, a go dark home. figure can That's be all you seen. Do. This time from one of the upstairs windows. The guys go back inside yeah. to check it out. And it did not Why? go well. Why? <laughs> They know the vibes. Get to the car. Bro, if I see that thing one more time, bro. What you sign up for the ghost hunting for if you go about, about, about to be out here crying? Oh no, that is unacceptable, bro. You must be deleted from the ghost hunting crew. Can't be out here seeing ghosts crying. What up? What the? Y'all should never went back in in the first place. Now to be clear, I am in no way saying that what the guys have captured is anything paranormal. It could simply be a squatter or a homeless person in the building. Bruh, fam is not bro. don't know. But what I do know is that team The first one looked like a girl in, you know what I'm saying, a little the, the other one looked like a uh, the, the Sith Lord, <laughs> or or the things from uh them them little hooded ones on Resident Evil Four. Uh, that's what that one up in the window. Remember, like, Aldo though. seems genuinely terrified of what he's seen. 
Inside the building, he claims he saw a horrifying figure. Bro, if you see the horrifying figure, I'm leaving, boy. And leaving. he even starts to cry out of fright. Just as Aldo is explaining what he's witnessed, the team is shaken up by a loud bang, and they all run they to their scooters <laughs> and just get out of there. Shortly after, they stop to check on Aldo. Poor Aldo is still in tears, and they decide to just end the video and go home. So what do you think have been Aldo that, saw that terrified him this much? Is it all real? Is it all just a hoax? Ain't no way, bro. But Ain't if no it way. is a hoax, Aldo either wasn't in on it, oh, that or an he's one actor. of the best actors ever. Facts, bro. Because those are real tears. Anyway, as always, you decide. That man was crying, the bro. Curse. They, they just recorded From for the content. time it was built in the 1960s, the Okago Onsen Inn in Tajimi City, Japan, was met with terrible misfortune. Some believe that the land the inn was built on was cursed from the beginning by a dark spirit. Local legend claims that a woman passed away under horrible circumstances on the property in the mid 1600s. I'll know the best time and she right. still haunts like that. the property grounds. So, cut to the 1970s, and there is a severe food poisoning incident at the Okago Onsen Inn that absolutely ruins the reputation of the popular hotel. Even worse, soon after this, not one, but two fires destroy large parts That's of the tough. building and in several hey, lives. Sushi? Let me know. The Okago Onsen Inn was that? closed down for good. Locals say that the devastating events left the inn's owner in complete financial ruin. In mm. hopelessness and despair, he ended his own life by jumping from the inn's roof. Today, the inn has been abandoned for 40 years and the building is buried. I know that's not only two stories. How he died jumping off two stories? It, the, this place got to be higher than that, bro. In overgrown weeds and vegetation, rumors spread that the location is cursed and that anyone who enters Sushi the inn fire, will suffer Facts. a horrible fate. <laughs> Those few who have dared to enter the inn claim that they have seen and heard the spirit of the woman who curses the hotel. They also say that they have seen the apparition of what is believed to be the inn's former owner, who jumped from the roof. So Japanese paranormal investigators Tomo and Hiro from the YouTube channel Omagatoki Film have heard the terrifying ghost stories and are ready to investigate the allegedly haunted inn. Together with their anonymous cameraman who goes by the name T, they start their investigation of the creepy building. Tomo and Hiro decide to take photos of each other inside the second floor's restroom, which is said to be one of the most active paranormal spots in the entire building. Well, guys, here we go. Things quickly take a very eerie turn. I don't like that face. <laughs> Oh, somebody posted this picture up here, boy. I thought that was a mirror and there was a face in it, bro. I was about to say. That's tough. That is actually very tough. Why is your reflection not looking at yeah nah? Like look, the head is tilted on a reflection. The head is like these. My man's like this. The head is like these. No. Mm. <laughs> 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 
どういうおかしくね<笑>すごいおかしくね。見てみて、これは普通にまっすぐ見てる。見てるね、見てみる、確かに。That's tough。このカメラ目線だもん。完全にカメラ目線。Nothing out of the ordinary can be seen in Tomo's pictures, but when it's Hiro's turn, they discover that in one of the photos, the reflection of his face seems to be staring straight at the camera. The yeah, team that's, that's... is a little freaked out, but they shrug it off and decide to head up to the rooftop of the abandoned Bro, inn. Top five got the me rooftop to go is barely recognizable as it's completely covered in dirt and weeds after being abandoned <laughs> for 40 years. It is said that the owner of the inn jumped from this rooftop, taking his own life. While exploring, cameraman T gets spooked by something. <laughs> が当時いたみたいで、えー、まあ多分それが原因で、人はなんか噂がずっと来る。女の人の声聞こえた。聞こえた？全然わからない。笑い声聞こえた。マジで？聞こえた？全然聞こえた。全然聞こえた。ない。ない。ない。ない。ない。ない。ない。ない。<laughs> Cameraman T is frightened as he claims he heard the voice of a strange woman whispering in his ear and dropped his camera in fear. Later, the three team members watch the footage back that he recorded. They are shocked. If we see some feet find. running away, bruh. <laughs> I still didn't hear the voice though. Did you see it? Right after the camera falls, an upside down face can be seen staring right back at the camera. How, bro, I didn't see that to the very end. Oh, heck no. Oh, heck no. No, sir. Listen. Could it be that this Remember, is the face good. of the owner playing, who took uh, his own life Apex on that very tonight. same oh, rooftop? You know what I'm saying? Or is it the woman's voice who cameraman T heard right before he dropped his camera? Let me know your what? thoughts down in the comments. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way. You can watch this full terrifying investigation over on the YouTube yeah, channel extra, Omega Toki wild. Film. Wrong with us. Meanwhile, me so on TikTok. TikTok user Nina Enton shared a creepy video of her nephew, Emmy, on her TikTok page. In the video, the boy discovers the hidden nanny cam that's carefully placed in his bedroom to keep a safe eye on him. But what happens next is downright chilling. <laughs> the terrifying face of what appears to be an elderly woman can be seen staring that look like a picture of him. I think like he tried to grab it and like a picture came off the wall. There's a bro. Yeah, I don't believe that one. At the camera. Nina Clay. Like, cause look, my man got mad pictures of him up here. It's probably like another picture, bro. And he, when he went to grab it, he accidentally grabbed a picture too. I don't think that was like an old lady. Nah. And her nephew was alone in his room at the time of this recording. Now, fake or not, when I first saw this video, it freaked me out. That's a picture so, of him, bro. Either way, the video is definitely very creepy. But as for whether it's real or fake, as always, you decide. That's a picture of him, bro. Nuke, you know, you know, you know. That's him. That's a picture. You can clearly see like edges of the picture right here, though. Yeah, that's that's the baby, bro. That's 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 the baby. 
in another video, TikTok user 17275 That video was a whole lot of cap, no a haunted lie. ring, and that ever since he brought it home, strange things have started happening around his house. Look, look if you buy, I look, I don't know if he knew the ring was haunted when he bought it, but if you buy a haunted ring and you bring it to your house, you deserve everything that happens, all right? I heard some noise down here, not the washing machine, but some like weird f***ing thumping and this f***ing thing was rocking back and forth when I came down here. Doors started shaking. Unexplained voices can be heard at night. You deserve a rocking it. chair suddenly started rocking back and forth all <laughs> on its own. TikTok user 172.75c shares his experiences on a regular basis on his TikTok page. One night, he films as he starts to feel sick from the paranormal activity around his house. Later, TikTok viewers are shocked when they see something in the video that he did not see. Something truly bizarre. I see nothing. Going to... Go oh! The... Cuz had a man standing right there in the back. I synced it. I synced it. Look at it. Look, at it. Look, 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 look right behind him right here, bro. Into... See the man? That's a man. And I'm a boy. Kurt Angle voice. Go and uh, my car for tonight. I'm not feeling good. I'm actually starting to get. Did you see it? TikTok yeah, user nah, 172.75c nah. is completely unaware that the dark silhouette of someone or something can be seen standing right behind him in a room. He explains in yeah, another nah. video that he had no idea what was with him in his house and that since this incident, he has been staying with a friend too scared to return to his home. Even though you brought the ring back to the crib, my brother. We got to clap it up for you. You left. You got out and you stayed out. Thank you. So Thank is you. it real or is it all just an elaborate TikTok hoax? You decide. I know, that look like a little blow up dog. I'm not going to lie. Here, Twitter here. Or hey, look at that. It's a TikTok. Yes, sir. Hey. Yes, sir. Anyway. Listen, listen. Another Nukes Top 5 banger on us. We have some Capletons in here, okay? Some major Capletons. Now, if old boy Aldo on the scooter was crying, okay, it might be real. All right, it might be real. My man seen something, start, started bawling. He still got his sixth sense. You know what I'm saying? He never grew up. Because I guess they say kids could see dead people. And so could Aldo. All right, my man got special powers. But... Y'all let me know which one y'all thought was the most real and which one y'all thought was the most fake. Obviously, the most fake is the one with the baby and the camera. I mean, it wasn't fake, but it was uh, misconstrued, I think is the proper term. But y'all, link some more of these down below. If y'all got any other channel that does like these top five scary videos, y'all let me know. And we'll start reacting to those, okay? But until next time, make sure you smash that like button. Hit that sub button. We out of here.